Early discharge is usually seen as a sign of sexually transmitted disease. But sometimes when an individual has this penile discharge, it is not an STD, but something else. Good day, everyone, and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as the Nurse with the Difference, and I make a learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be talking about penile discharge and also what causes penile discharge if possible so you have an idea and see your doctor as soon as possible. But pause first, regardless of what is causing it, when you notice penile discharge, it's advisable you see your doctor preferably. But before I go into the chase into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel and these are content you are interested in, please click on the subscribe button, turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, this is not Smith's Mary saying thank you. Let's go. Welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be talking about penile discharge. What is penile discharge? Penile discharge is any flu that comes out of the penis that is neither urine or semen as a man i believe you know what the urine looks like and i believe you know what semen looks like so if you are getting something different from the urine that is coming out from the penis and also semen that is coming out from the penis that is a penile discharge and it is something you need to speak to your healthcare provider as soon as possible generally there are two major causes of this penile discharge which is gonorrhea and chlamydia these are sexually transmitted diseases so when you visit the hospital your doctors will ask for some signs and symptoms and that will give your doctor a clue on which tests to carry out so when the doctor carry out this test first of all they will check if it's a sexually transmitted infection if it's gonorrhea or chlamydia but if it not there is or there are other things that are causing this penile discharge that i will be discussing today so the first cause of penile discharge that you should know is prostatitis what is prostatitis prostatitis is simply the inflammation of the prostate gland yes the prostate gland is a gland that is found only in the in the male and it also contributes to the fluid that is being ejaculated during sexual intercourse then you want to ask how do i know that it's prostatitis most times prostatitis alongside with penile discharge come with the following signs and symptoms the first one is pain the other one is foul smelling urine another one is blood in the urine painful ejaculation frequent micturition always going to the toilet to pass urine then difficulty ejaculating these are the signs that comes with penile discharge when it is relating to prostatitis then the second one that can cause penile discharge is urinary tract infection urinary tract infection in urinary tract infection there's going to be pain burning sensation as when this man wants to pee he's always having this burning sensation you know how pepe like peppery sensation during urination then frequency in micturition always going to the toilet to um to pass urine then there might be inching so when all these signs combine with penile discharge that might be a sign of a urinary tract infection. Then that takes me to the third one which I want to share with you today. And the third one I have to share with you is smigma. Am I pronouncing it way? But that is a spelling on the screen. Yes, this is actually a buildup of white thick substance beneath the foreskin. This happens for those, the men that are not circumcised. So they have a foreskin covering it. So there's a build up of whitey's discharge. Those whitey's discharge are naturally occurring. Sometimes it might not mean any harm and it might not be something you should be worried about. The last one I have to share with you is balanitis. Balanitis or cause in men that are not circumcised which is the inflammation of the foreskin this is usually very very 
painful. Like I earlier said, it doesn't really matter what is really causing this penal discharge. It is important for you to see your daughter, for you to speak with your daughter as soon as possible to get it sorted out. So that is what I have to share with you today. Just know that penal discharge is any discharge that comes out from the penis that is neither urine or semen. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching this short video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and also don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, this is Nosmes Mary saying thank you. Bye and see you in our next video.